The young dreamer became a schoolteacher in the small town of Kaluga. By day, he taught arithmetic to children, by night, he calculated the route to the stars. Konstantin Tsiolkovsky spent his life theorizing in almost complete isolation, decades before the world was ready for his ideas. While the world marveled at the first faltering flights of airplanes, Tsiolkovsky's mind was already in orbit, designing the logistics for interplanetary humanity. In the pivotal year of 1903, he published his seminal work, The Exploration of Cosmic Space by Means of Reaction Engines. In this work, without having built a single prototype, he laid the mathematical foundations of all astronautics. He formulated the legendary Tsiolkovsky rocket equation, a formula as beautiful as it is tyrannical, which reveals that to reach the stars, a rocket must be composed almost entirely of fuel. It is the physical law that, even today, dictates the design of every space vehicle. But his vision was complete. He proposed the use of liquid propellants, such as hydrogen and oxygen, for their superior efficiency. He designed the concept of the multi-stage rocket, the only viable way to overcome the relentless pull of Earth's gravity. And he went much further, detailing in his plan for the exploration of outer space a 16-point program that included orbital space stations, pressurized spacesuits, cosmic greenhouses for food production, and the eventual colonization of the entire solar system. His equations were a language few understood, a detailed map to a future no one else could see. While the 20th century had barely begun, this unassuming professor had already designed, on paper, the entire space age.